Cameron Braddock is lining up on the left side, but it looks like he might see a double team, which could open it up for Gage Herndon to his left. Motion in front of the formation. They're going to get it off to Godwin, and Godwin goes up maybe to the 20, to the original line of scrimmage where he is tackled. So he had no chance right there, and it was Herndon who slid over to his right from the left side of the field to make the tackle. And now Bryan County will have to punt as the punter goes back to around the six. You take a 14-yard drop. And the Bulldogs go with twin safeties. They've been going with Chandler Lynn and Octavius Roberts back deep. So let's see if the Dogs can get some good field position to open up their third region game. Snap is good. Kick is wobbly, not too bad. Taking a hop at the Bryan County 48 going across the stripe and into Bulldog territory, but just slightly at about the 49, according to the side judge on the Redskin side. So the Bulldogs will be moving right to left, driving from the north end zone to the south end zone as he does indeed place the ball at the Bulldog 49. And that time he's credited with a no gainer. Game scoreless, 8.35 to go. We're in the opening quarter and the Bulldogs driving toward the south end zone are very close to scoring their first touchdown of the night. Cloud back under center, strong side of the left, the wide side of the field. As he pitches it, DJ bobbles it, picks the ball up, breaks a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now he's running left side. It's open and he runs in with a Bulldog touchdown. Brian County had a chance to maybe bring him down behind the line of scrimmage, but once Mincy picked up that ball, he knew which way he was going. He saw all the green space down the left side of the field and he ran it in for six. Coming off a four touchdown game against Bacon. He opens up this game with a touchdown with 8-12 to go to put the dogs up 6-0 here in the opening quarter. Door on the run by Mincy and here's Marion Vital kicking center of the field from the 40, gets it up higher, kicks it deep. It's gonna bounce six yards into the end zone for a second automatic touchback. And that is what Julian Marion Vital wants to do. Julio Almanza, who subbed for him last week, did it once. Back goes the QB, throwing it deep, and the ball's intercepted by Tyler Smith at the 37-yard line. He just threw it up for grabs. His receiver was not there, and that was Hunter Lee. And that was an easy pick for Tyler Smith. Now they go with two backs and three receivers, and Brandon Usher goes in motion to the right. Cloud fakes it to him, throws it down the right side. The receiver is wide open, but two Bulldogs fight for the ball. Did either one of them catch it? I think one of them did. It was Chandler Lynn. There were two dogs down there, and Chandler Lynn makes a snag down at the six. Cloud is going to settle behind Angel Brown and hand it off to Brandon Usher, and he cuts to the right, and he scoots into the end zone, and nobody touched him for the touchdown. He kind of zigged it off to the right corner in the south end zone for six with 7.34 to go in the opening quarter. Well, let's see if the Bulldogs can do it a third time. And of course, it always begins with Marion Vital kicking the ball in the end zone. Dogs up 14-0, 7.34 to play in the opening quarter. Julian runs six yards at it. Low line drive, and it bounces into the end zone, of course. And so the Dogs will force Bryan County to start from the 20. Nothing better than that being automatic. And they throw it near side. Tyler Heath with the pick. He's going to run it in from the 12 for a touchdown. The pass was high. Tyler with an easy pick and a pick six to add to that. And that comes with 6.35 to go in the opening quarter. That's two easy picks for the Tylers, Smith and Heath. But Smith didn't get to score the touchdown. Tyler did. Sending two receivers to the right, one to the left. Ball's on the right hash. Most of the action has come from that hash both ways, left and right in this ball game. And the QB dropping back, throws it up high across the middle. This is pickable, and Tyler Heath picks it, but the ball's knocked free, and Tyler Smith picks it up with his right hand, and he's running across the stripe, and they push him out of bounds at the 44. Bulldogs up 21-0, 5.08 to go second quarter. Offensive line controlling the situation right now. Big push, big holes. 
Maybe one more handoff could do it right here. From inside the 10, Brandon Usher takes it. Bunch of Redskins grab him, and he's no match for about five of them. And they push him backwards. So that time, Bryan County won the battle on the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down. It's second and goal. As the Bulldogs started that play inside the 10, and I don't think Brandon got anything, but I don't think he lost anything. Nothing substantial. So second down, Cloud taking the snap, gives it to Brandon, up the middle, hit, and now they grab him. He's still pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing toward the goal line, but he didn't get there. But he was trying to. They never stopped his progress until the bitter end because he at least gained two or maybe three yards after the pushing started and now he's down to the two on probably a six or seven yard gain and just give it to him one more time and maybe he can take care of business. Usher leans toward the goal line and he's in. A Bulldog touchdown with Brandon Usher doing the work. Octavius Roberts and Jacari Jones lining up his wide outs to the right. Tyler Heath and Chandler Lynn to the left. The dogs will go for it on fourth and short. Will it be Usher again? Hall hands it off and Usher has the first down. Surges inside the 25, breaks a tackle, lowers his shoulder pads, moves down the sideline, breaks another tackle and finally goes out of bounds around the six or five yard line. Finally brought down by Kadrian Lee, but it wasn't easy. Usher with a heck of a run. Hall back in the shotgun, Usher to his right. And Hall keeps the football and runs toward the end zone. And he goes in for six. The freshman scoring a touchdown. His first varsity score. And now the Bulldogs have scored 41. The Toombs County Bulldogs. And so will, and he loves to play on the line of scrimmage, Julio Amanza, the kicker, wearing 77. He likes to play on the D line, the O line, and kick. Most kickers don't like to do that, but he wants to play on Friday nights. Even though it's Thursday, Hall takes a snap, hands it off to Roberts, bouncing outside, goes to the boundary, runs toward the end zone, and scoots in with a Bulldog six. He showed some cutting, darting speed on that run, as no Redskin could lay a hand on him, and Octavius Roberts scores on what is about, I guess, a 16-yard run. And he showed some real quickness there. Very impressive. Roberts and Smith are running off the field. The dogs had way too many. They had 13 out there. Now they're down to 11 as Bryan County tries a running play. And these backup dogs do a good job on the line of scrimmage. And the ball may have been fumbled. And the dogs have recovered. So the Bulldogs are going to take over with the clock running with 10 minutes to go. Hunter Smith scooping up the ball for the Dogs off the fumble. Deep on the Bryan County side, down around the 15 or so. So the freshman will go under center with an eye formation behind him. And we'll see who gets to run the football right up the middle and into the end zone for a touchdown is Octavius Roberts. Nobody touched him. Wow, huge hole, and not a linebacker or a safety could get over there, and Colby Scott must have opened it up with Dawson Malone, a guard and a center. And the Bulldogs have scored 54. So first and 10. Thomas Cloudy in as a wide receiver. He's been playing very well defensively for the B team. Oh, that's running the football is Thomas. He was in there in the backfield, which I haven't seen him do that. And Thomas searches ahead, the younger brother of Trey Cloud, the quarterback. And on his first varsity carry, he gains eight. Never seen him run the ball. That's something new. He doesn't run it in B-team games. I thought maybe he was out at wide receiver. He takes a handoff again, and he runs for the first down. Thomas Cloud is quite an improved football player this year, and he's been a real tough tackler for the B team, making some plays even behind the line of scrimmage. And he really seems to understand the game well when I interview him. He's able to explain everything. First down for the Dogs with 4.13 to go. 
He can tell you what they're doing and what the Bulldogs are doing. He breaks it down well. Quarterback under center, Hall turns, and he hands it off to Myrick, and he's running the football in a little weave down the left hash inside the 35 where he's tackled near the 33. Hall set to go with the I formation, and Hall keeps the football and moves it forward into the south end zone for a touchdown. And the Bulldogs jump up and down and celebrate. Of course, these are all B-teamers playing right now as they add on and hit the 60s for the first time in I don't know how many years. They got 61 on the board with Julian Marion Vital coming out and 50 more dollars. Will be banking its way from Palmer and Associates Insurers out of Idea to the Timms County Athletic Booster Club. Trey Cloud holding the kick up in the air. And it is good. The Toombs County Bulldogs lead 62 to nothing. And the clock is running at six, five, four, three, two, one. And homecoming night is over for the Toombs County Bulldogs. And now both teams will come to the center of Booster Stadium to shake hands after this Region 2 game. Big night for the dog offense. mid C scored a touchdown. Usher scored three. Tyler Heath on a pick six scored one. And Gavin Hall scored two. And Octavius Roberts scored two. And I hope that all adds up to a 62 to nothing victory for the Toombs County Bulldogs. And now they get ready for their rival in what will be a big Region 2 game next Friday night at Buck Cravey Field. Tombs and Vidalia right here on Y101.